I've been pretty impressed by the image quality and to get my questions answered pretty quickly at the bedside without having to wheel my cart system in, which has been pretty powerful. I'm Brian Johnson. I'm an emergency room physician. I work at Valley Medical Center in Renton, Washington, uh, University of Washington uh, Affiliate Hospital. It's actually lovely. Image quality is good and it's wireless. And I use it on a few shifts. Phone and throw it in my pocket, walking around. And you can really kind of come to the bedside and just sort of like kind of diagnose look at the patient pretty quickly. And you're not leaving a big footprint when you're coming into ultrasound. It's pretty darn small and it's kind of rubbery or looks a little durable and can fit in my pocket. It helps with my workflow. Like say someone who's really short of breath and they're crashing, they're coming in sick and ill. And you have nurses trying to salvage IV access. You have registration in there to register the patient or talk to family. You have EMS coming in, telling the story. And then you're in there too. And so to bring in a large ultrasound, to displace a lot of that volume of people is kind of hard. So for me to kind of sneak in there, which I normally do to assess the patient anyways, but then just sort of like put the probe on the heart or put the probe on the lungs or look for the AAA really fast, it's just really nice for me. So it's nice to get a nice snapshot of a critically ill patient right away. So I can walk out of the room and say, you know, oh, this guy's in floor pulmonary edema or this guy looks like he's a ruptured AAA. And that can help guide my next steps of you know, management for the patient. So it's hitting a lot of good spots for me, so I like it. We have excellent ultrasound resources, like comprehensive uh, ultrasounds, and we have two CT scanners that are amazing. And we can get ultrasound and CT imaging stat. But like upper abdominal pain, oftentimes don't know if it's like biliary colic or kidney stones or, or something else. So I've actually a few times just put the PAL in the right upper quadrant to see if there's gallstones or hydronephrosis. So you can kind of get a pretty quick picture if we're dealing with sort of kidney stone pain versus sort of biliary colic versus, you know, I don't know. But it's, um, it's just such an easy, small footprint that I'm already in the room and I can kind of pull it up pretty quickly. It sort of helps with my diagnosis going forward. Even though, once again, we're gonna get comprehensive ultrasounds maybe, we're gonna get CT scans, but it's just nice to have sort of that 21st century stethoscope just right there to just kind of put it on and then kind of walk out with a better idea of where we're going with this patient. I can tell you that using PAL has been good for all my diagnostic stuff that I would have used a cart-based system for as well. And it's sort of like right there in my pocket. In the ER, we're looking for durability and we're looking for functionality and we're looking to get in, get out and answer that question. I find this device, which is a phased array and linear probe, super useful. Because in a cart-based system, oftentimes we're switching between probes. Having it in one setting is pretty sweet. It's important because it's super portable, super small, small footprint, and it's wireless. It sits on your phone, it sits in my pocket, I can pull it out, and then I can switch between a linear and a phased array probe with just the tap of a button, and the images are pretty good. It saves me a bunch of time. I don't have to use a cart based system. I can just use what I have in my pockets. Yes, I would. I could use this in my daily practice and get utility out of it. At this point, with what I've tested and used and everything, the interface is nice, the wireless component is wonderful. I would recommend to my colleagues to use one of these for the ultrasound needs in the emergency department. I mean, it is much cheaper than the cart based system. You could definitely minimize your budget in the emergency department.